Welcome back for Trick Tip Tuesday. In today's tip, I'm gonna be talking about uh, oil can uh, in a panel, whether it's welded into a part or maybe something you're shaping up uh, and maybe some tips on how to get that out of there. So uh, when, the, when they say the term oil can, uh, basically came from cans where there was looseness uh, in the metal on the cans that made that kind of popping noise. So um, it's a reference to uh, the looseness in the sheet metal uh, whether it's welded in or not. So I have two different panels here and they have, I guess, two different types of oil can in them. So uh, this front one here, basically this one has an oil can in the sense that if, you know, if you push on the center, it pops the other direction. So it'll pop in and out and stay either way. Um, and then this other panel here, uh, this one, it kind of just has a lot of loose floppiness to it, where if you go to press it down, you know, hold it in shape, it's got a lot of, it wants to spring in different directions uh, either way. So um, when you're determining what type of oil can you have, um, basically you can take into account, um, you know, how the sheet metal is laying. So like with this panel here, um, where you're trying to lay it flat on a table and you're trying to hold it down, uh, you know, there's kind of looseness in the edge. On the edge of the panel, it, it doesn't want to lay flat on the edges, um, you know, if you try to force it down. So in turn, what that means is, because the edge wants to spring and do weird things, uh, there's, too much, there's too much metal on, on the edge of the panel. So essentially, it's got this load and spring in the panel because there's more metal length on the outer edges than maybe is in the middle of the panel. And that's what's creating that looseness in the panel. Whereas this panel here, um, it's it's popping back and forth and it's really tight and loaded um, because there's more metal in the area here in the middle of the panel. And basically that's because it's, it's either stretched or maybe the outer edge has been uh, shrunk too much. And so it's got a lot of load in it, a lot of tension. So the too much metal in the middle of the panel has to go somewhere. So it's either going to go up or it's going to go down. So that's why it's up and the panel seems fairly tight. But if you push it, it pops in and stays there because it's now forcing itself in and staying there too. So, um, yeah, so the different ways, uh, you know, that you can get out some of this oil can in a panel, you know, let's say this panel here is weld. You've got this welded into a quarter panel on a car or, uh, you're doing a patch somewhere and you get it welded around there and all of a sudden it's doing this on you. Well, part of the reason is, is that when you weld around something, it's always going to shrink. It, even if you're, even if you have no gap uh, and your panels are fit really well together, uh, when you weld, it's going to shrink. So uh, it shrinks around the edge, which creates, uh, in theory, more metal in the middle than around the edge. So um, that's where, you know, a hammer and dolly will come into hand, uh, come in handy. Uh, you'll be able to, you know, sand your weld down and then hammer and dolly, uh, as long as it's a TIG weld or a softer weld process other than a MIG weld. MIG weld, it doesn't work very well on because MIG welds are very hard. So, um, you get that sanded down, you hammer and dolly, uh, you know, metal on metal to stretch that edge back out on the outer edge and it'll loosen, uh, the tension in the panel and hopefully relieve uh, that oil can. So, you know, from there on a panel like this, where, like I said, you press it down, the edge is a little floppy. Um, you know, if you're making a patch and it's doing that and it won't lay uh, where you need it to, uh, you know, you can run over to a machine like a shrink or stretcher uh, or something like that to be able to, uh, you know, maybe shrink up a little bit of metal on the edge and get that panel to. Uh, sit flat. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. Um, both I'll probably use the English wheel and the shrinker stretcher to kind of demo how to stretch or uh, shrink the metal uh, to get it to uh, tighten up a little bit. All right, so first on this panel uh, that by looking at it and judging the shape, uh, it's got too much metal kind of around the outside. So it's trying to spring and do different things. So um, you know, on a panel like this, I'll use a shrinker stretcher to kind of tighten up the edges. So, um, how a shrinker stretcher works, um, there's two different jaw sets that, um, essentially there's two jaw plates in here. These are stretching jaws. So, um, these jaw plates, when they come together with the other set, 
of jaws. They, on the stretching jaws, they come together and push apart so that, um, you know, obviously stretches the metal at that point. On um, the shrinking jaws, it's the opposite. They come together and then squeeze the metal together to pinch it together to shrink the metal up. So, um, basically on this, you're shrinking on the machine to uh, kind of pull the metal together as you go down the edge, and that's gonna shrink the metal to tighten up your edges and get rid of that oil can in your panel. There's different types of shrinker stretcher machines. Um, there's uh, kind of more your uh, budget friendly uh, home shop hobby type shrinker stretchers. And then there's also uh, all the way up to your extremely high end uh, professional machines that are used in everything from high end aviation to hot rod shops and that sort of thing. So we run this panel down through the shrinker and you can see just by that, I can't get this panel to spring around because I've tightened up that edge and it got rid of the oil can in the panel. So on the second panel here, there's a couple different things uh, you can do to be able to get an oil can out where it's gonna pop either direction. Um, you could potentially go around with a stretcher, uh, change out to the stretching jaws on your machine stretch around the outside edge to kind of relax the outside edge and get the panel to uh, relieve uh, from that popping. Um, or you can use an English wheel to, you know, kind of wheel around the edges to stretch the panel out. Um, if it's welded in a car, obviously that's where hammer and dolly comes in handy and you can really, you know, fine tune the panel in after you get it welded from there. So I'm going to use the English wheel here. We'll stretch around the outside edge to demonstrate how to relieve that oil can in a panel. So I'm gonna go around all the edges on the outside just to get an initial stretch. Now this panel still has a little pop in it, but it's definitely a little looser. Uh, there's less tension in the panel than there was, so I'm gonna go over it again. Put a little bit more pressure on the wheel. And the panel's even kind of moving as I wheel it here. It's kind of popping in and out. But there's still, now it's wanting to stay one direction. It's popping and uh, the panel's staying one direction, which means I'm loosening up the outside. So we'll do it a little more. And you don't want to go too fast, go too much because uh, then you just create more problems. So I don't have a ton of pressure on the wheel, just enough to stretch out a little bit, work it slowly. And uh, now it's getting a lot better, it's staying one direction. Still have that little pop. Stretch it out a little more. Now you have a pretty nice tight panel. There's a little bit of flex in it, but it doesn't have that wild pop that it had before. So uh, hopefully these tips will help you out uh, if you get some oil can in your panels uh, when you're trying to shape them, get something ready to weld in a car um, or potentially in the car. Like I said, if you do get an oil can in the car after it's welded, it's because welding always shrinks. So anywhere you've welded, it shrunk the metal together. So you have to stretch that area back out you know, using a hammer and dolly or a handheld planching hammer, uh, something of that type. So. Um, hopefully this trick tip will help you out and we'll see you next Tuesday.